Houston, we don't have a problem. Today we're going to talk about forces as vectors. So remember we said that a force has magnitude and direction. The magnitude will be so many newtons, but it also has a direction. So it's actually more accurate to not just say F, but F arrow. And so it matters what that direction is. Now the force can have a, you know, so if I have a box right here, I can have a force that goes to the right, that goes to the left, that goes down, or that goes up. I can also have a vector that is at an angle, right? Maybe I've got a block of wood, and I'm dragging it across. I have a rope, and you know, you've got a dude here pulling a, a box of wood across the floor. And next, as a side note, there would also be a force pushing back, which would be the force of friction. And then there would also be the force of gravity pushing it down. And we'll talk more about all the forces a little bit later, but the key is to understand that it's a vector. And also, as a vector, it is additive vectorally. So let's say I have an object right here, all right, and it has a force forward. So let's say force F for forward. Um, uh, but I don't use an F because F is for friction. Let's just say force is equal to 8 newtons. And then, so someone's pulling with 8 newtons. And then I've got somebody who's pulling with, in the negative direction, with six newtons. I've tried to draw this a little bit shorter than this. And what we want to do is we want to actually determine if the forces are balanced or unbalanced. They're unbalanced, obviously, here. And we use a big fancy symbol. This is the sum of, that's a mathematical symbol. The sum of the forces, in this case, would be equal to positive two newtons, right? Because it's moving to the right. And so the actual force, if we were to draw a, 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 a diagram, we, we'll call this a free body diagram, is the overall net force is two newtons to the right. So it since they're additive, but they're additive vectorally. And what do I mean by that? So if I have a force, so let's have another object. So these are just examples. So I'd add like examples in your notes. Let's say I have a box right here again, and I have a force that's coming at some angle, let's say, uh, yeah, this is right here at 20 degrees, okay? And um, that's way more than 20 degrees. Let's say that's 30 degrees. And this is, you know, uh, 50 newtons. Then actually what you have to do is you have to use SOHCAHTOA to figure out, usually what we want to do is you want to figure out what is the force in the X and the force in the Y. And so what you would do is you would find the force in the X using, this would be cosine, cos 30 times 50, and this would be sine 30 times 50. So you could actually write the box, and you can have a force this way and a force this way. You break it down into, we call it its component vectors, by doing, so that even though it's 50, you know, at that 30 degree angle, and I don't know, I'm not, I'm not get a calculator on that, if this is 30 degrees, and that's 50, it's gonna be longer this way. So maybe this is, you know, 40, and this is 20. I'm making these up, so don't like do the math. So you'd have a 40 newton force to the right and a 20 newton force to the left. And uh, so it's vectoral. And if I have two forces, again, vectoral, let's say I have a force, you know, I have 20 newtons going this way and I have 30 newtons going this way, then the force that when I add them, it's not 20 plus 30, you have to use Pythagorean theorem to find what is the force at whatever the angle is. So you add it using trigonometric things instead of, you know, it's, it's not 30 plus 20. It's probably going to be, you know, you know, this might be like 40 or something. I don't know when you do the Pythagorean theorem. So you have to add them pythagorean -er. Is that a word? I just made up a word that's not true. So, uh, <laughs> but you, it's a vector. And vectors add um, via trigonometry and only via trigonometry. So... Think of force as a vector, like acceleration is a vector, like distance is a vector, like velocity is a vector. As a note, we're talking about forces, don't forget, mass, though, right, is not a vector. It's not a vector, not a vector, no vector, okay? Hey, Houston, we don't have a problem. We'll see you in class.